I often tell people, mm -hmm. if someone's selling you land and they have a title deed and they show you a mutation form but mm -hmm. no RIM, mm -hmm. either investigate further or run away. Because you could be paying for thin air, literally. Because this map right here uh -huh. is what um, demarcates the buying. actual, yes. Hey, welcome back to my channel. And I hope you're still doing all the right things. Keeping your mask on, mine's here. Um, of course, social distance and um, cleaning your hands, even if they're peeling, Vaseline works. So I wanna have a conversation that will make you actually lean in. And it's about land and the ongoing land conversion. I'm sure you've heard the term and you're like, what is that? What does it mean? And I only had one person I truly, 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 truly could trust to have this conversation with. Solomon Wangwe, you know him, Goshen. So, own land in Kenya. So why doesn't this say I own land in Kenya? Or we're, do you we're, own too we're, much land? We're, we're, we're working on, on <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you should say I own land in Kenya. <laughs> or want to own land in Kenya? Follow me. Yeah, true. Yeah, we're working on those. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to owning land, mm -hmm. as East Africans, and when I say East Africa, all the way to the Mogadishu coastline, and yeah. maybe to the Congo forest, nobody is as passionate, emotive, and gets a little uh, spastic when it comes to land as we are. Mm. Okay, why is that? I think then this is my theory because I do spend a little bit of time trying to understand the psychology around the Kenyan land appetite or the East African appetite for land. Mm -hmm. I think it really goes back to our colonial history uh, because uh, you know this is something I looked at in my own family and I used to wonder why my mom specifically would buy plots of land here, there, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that they grew up in lands that were not ancestral uh, because their communities were displaced by the of colonial course. masters. Uh -huh. And in Kenya specifically, the Kikuyu, uh -huh. who were displaced from what was called the White Highlands, yes. the most productive mm, zones yeah. of, of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as we got independence, that generation, my parents' generation, were my young, working, yes. right? They had some income. Mm -hmm. The first order of business was to reclaim land. Uh, because and the, they passed that on to us. Yeah, so we grew up watching it like, you know, something that they do. Yes. And so for us, my generation, it's just second nature. It's what you do when you have a little bit of savings. Mm -hmm. It's what you do to show that you're ready to settle down. Yes. It's, it's sort of like a rite of passage mm -hmm. for I'm now an adult. Yes. And if I die, I have my own place to get buried. This is, I had not thought about it like that because I thought, yeah. wait a minute. And I think when we first, when I first met you, I told you I need to start buying land like a grown up because I had little scattered pieces across Kenya, honestly, yeah. from Isinya to Rongai to Kitengela to, and, and then I bought Mbuko. And the people who came to see Mbuko, yeah. I told you I bought Mbuko unsighted. He met my mother, actually before you met me. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you met my mother before you met yeah. me. And, and she was the person to say yes or no. Thankfully, she, she said yes. yes thankfully, yes. she said yes, because she had said yeah. no, you know I wasn't buying, yeah. because I believe she knows. Yeah, she definitely knew what to ask, what to look out for, and she, uh, you know, knowing her now, I, I often tell people mm -hmm. uh, who think that, uh, that you're, di you're difficult to deal with, because <laughs> uh, you, you're, you're too blunt and you speak your mind, and I tell them, wait till you meet Caroline's mom. Yes. Uh, so it was a half terrifying experience, <laughs> but thankfully we passed the test yes. and, 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 and she loved, she loved the place and, and 15 yeah. acres later. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or well, incidentally, Mbuko is still, is still available, but only just. Yeah. Only just. Only just, yeah. Only yeah. 10, 10 Plots blocks of, of 10, uh, 10, 10 acre acres, acres each yes. available. You can yeah. be my neighbor if that matters. So there's a land conversion thing what is it the title conversion yeah uh, oh it's a title conversion title yes okay what is it so uh ever since we got independence in kenya title deeds have been produced under what they call in general land registration acts so these are acts of parliament uh describing what processes should be used to produce title deeds, whether it's private lands or public lands or 
what, whatever the case may be. And I think since independence to date, we've had five different land acts. So the Registration Land Act, there's so many, some acronyms sort of sound like the others. Mm -hmm. Land Registration Act is the latest one, 2012. Okay. When oh, 2012 is latest. Right. Uh -huh. and, and so that particular act determined that all the uh, previous regimes mm -hmm. have created confusion in the titling process because depending on which property you're buying, the titles read differently. And you have, you know, leasehold versus freehold. Yes. Uh, you have mutation forms versus you know, I deed know. plans, yes. you know, and it becomes confusing. And so they, they thought that for, for one, it made the, the registration process too long. And difficult. And difficult for people to understand. Yes. And then more importantly, in my view, created room for fraud. Because a lot of wishy-washy uh, things yes, happen happening. Yes, happening. And they, they always happen in chaos. Yeah. And so Parliament decided to pass a unified uh, sort of registration act, which said all the previous titles have to be updated to the Land Registration Act for 2012 and a unified regime so that you have a similar referencing number, numbering system for uh -huh. all titles uh -huh. uh, throughout the entire country. Okay. Right. So that's what the conversion is. Yes. So that basically what they're saying is uh, everyone needs, it's just like uh, what they did with uh, national IDs or and driver's licenses. And, and passports. Right. So hmm. they're saying you need to get the new generation title referencing numbers. Numbers. Yes. Right. Okay. So that's what the conversion is. Yeah. And we're doing this because... Everything that has existed, and actually, you're right. When you hear the terms, you're like, um, um, freehold. Um, you know, it's you've got to be an expert in this stuff. And if yeah. you don't know what it is, yeah. you get conned as well. Very easy, yeah. It's a, it's a problem, and the, and the details are are critical. You know, as you say, the devil is, is in, in the, the details. Detail. And if you don't know what the distinctions are, mm -hmm. it's very easy to be taken for a ride. True. And so, the primary objective is to bring everything under a unified sort of system which hastens registration processes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think they, they're saying that they've reduced the time from 72 days to 12 days to register titles. Really? Yeah. And then that allows digitization, uh -huh. which will then shrink the process. Their goal is to limit it to 12 hours. So you can have your titles transferred and registered in your favor when you're buying or you can sell to someone Somebody, yes. 12 hours done and dusted which would be awesome Wh which will and i actually want yeah. to say this for anybody saying psych you know it's it's so strange what we take for granted and today i if i'm selling you my car you're selling me yours actually yours is nicer so you're selling me your car <laughs> um i get onto ntsa <laughs> you input i input the details you send me your id number we do this thing i go to mpesa i pay that little bit done yeah, done but you know you can't even tell our dads that's how we do cars these days no, like what are you talking about is, yeah. it is it is digitized i need hard copy paper <laughs> paper and, 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 and a few uh, 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 a few trips either to times towers yeah, and then up. you go to national bank you pay something and you come back with come that there. deposit slip oh that doesn't God, happen anymore it's horrible yeah Yes, but literally we're saying where we took that process, where we took the ID process, you know, you meet people who are 20, 20 years old and they're like, yeah, I went to my Senate and then I took a picture, then I didn't like the picture and then they took another one. You're like, yeah. have you seen our IDs? We lived with a picture that, <laughs> that was taken. Yeah. Yes. And then we hoped and prayed that our mother knew somebody at the chief's yeah, camp. To help These people out. get yeah. an SMS telling them to come and pick it up. Yeah. I mean, but, but you know, you know, those of us who remember what the mess was, mm. can't believe. And I think that's our problem. Half the time we're like, we can do what? In 12 what? Yeah. Yes. So actually this title conversion, that's what it is, yeah. is, is, is good for us. But what does it mean for me? And that's why I asked you to bring title deeds. What does it mean? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question because a, uh, a lot of people, even our customers, previous customers have called to ask, uh, what's the deal? Yeah, what does Am it I mean? Am I safe? Yeah. A lot of people are worried that, uh, they might lose their land somehow. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it, there's just a lot of uh, misinformation or lack of understanding about it. Of course. So that's why we're here. Yeah. So yeah. for people who 
own land. Mm -hmm. What it means is at some point between now and December of next year, 2022, mm -hmm. uh, the Cabinet Secretary for Lands will issue Gazette notices, mm -hmm. uh, newspaper ads, mm -hmm. uh, declaring that a particular region Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because we have several registries throughout the country, mm -hmm. most of them still operate under the old district system. Yes. Uh, and this is one of the points for this exercise mm -hmm. is to devolve land registries down to the county level okay. by regions. But part of that includes digitization, having a unified sort of numbering system yes. for easy traceability and whatnot. So what that means is at some point, right now it's Nairobi, I think they start in April, mm -hmm. is, is the date that they expect to start for Nairobi registry. So you're saying if you've got land in Nairobi, you need to watch out for these Gazette notices that Absolutely, Farida yeah. Karone's office will be putting out? Yes. Okay. Uh, four of them have already been issued. Oh, really? Nairobi, are you listening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so they will issue the old title number, the new title reference uh -huh. and acreage. Okay. To let you know that from this date, uh, which should be in April, mm -hmm. you need to start applying for your new title deeds with okay. a new numbering system. So start with Nairobi and then, you know, And then keep they'll, they'll launch out to the other regions of Kenya. Okay, so it's actually phased. Yes, it's, it's, I mean, it's a very heavy, time-consuming process. Mm -hmm. uh, digitization, you have to scan documents. You have to reconcile several sort of reference maps. Mm -hmm. And that's a critical part of this exercise that a lot of people haven't understood yet. The cadastral maps, which they speak about in the notices, is you have to Cadab make sure... Cadastro, I'm not yeah. going to pretend that yeah, I knew what a, he said if you are. It's a survey term. Yes, see? Yeah, it's, you know, it's just the big maps. We, you know, in our, in, in our business, we call them registry index maps. Aha, uh -huh. now that term. The heard. RIMs, right? Yes. So right now, depending on what type of title deed you're dealing with, for uh -huh. example, yes. th these were registered um, in 2020. Mm-hmm. And it'll say here, the Land Registration Act, Act 2012, number three of 2012. Okay. Right, because this is a recent registration. This is recent, this is last year. Yeah, there's, there's others that are older, mm -hmm. uh, some, and usually they'll say repealed, which means uh, this needs to be converted to the new titling. Even if you got it just last year. Yeah, because the act was repealed in 2012. In 2012. But the actual infrastructure to produce a new numbering system has taken this long. Wow. So even though they're still producing them mm -hmm. as legal title, they, they do make a note that it's a repealed it's act. It's a repealed act. Yeah. For this chapter 300. For chapter 300. Yeah. So do, do you all want to take a break and get a glass of water and come back? And, and you know, when I saw this, I said, I need some. And I would also like to ask, um, Madam Carone, are you available? You know me, I'm easy. I, I, I want to learn. I don't want to yell at you. Hmm. Some people just don't let the, the conversation happen because they're okay. But this is Kajadu. Yeah, this, uh, so this is Imbuko in Kajadu. Yes, Kajiado. of course, yes. Um, and, you know, each page is significant. It'll have very specific details uh -huh. and they mean something. They're not random. All right. Uh, so, you know, if you flip to page two, uh -huh. it'll reference... This is a subdivision of plot number, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Uh, and in, in, in some cases, it will even give you the registry index map sheet number. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. for these types of title deeds, what you generally have, if it's a subdivision of a yes. bigger piece, mm -hmm. you have a mutation form. Yes. Right. Yes. And this is what your surveyors will draw up, yes. submit to the district uh, surveyor. It's approved. They issue land registry numbers, yes. which then become your title deed numbers. Exactly. Um, so if you're dealing with freehold land, for instance, mm -hmm. agricultural, you have mutation forms. Yes, you do. And it'll show you this is your plot. Yeah. So for the reasons, this is... I think for Imbuko, mine are sitting somewhere here. Yes, yours are <laughs> up here. Yes. This is uh, 8203. Yes which would, would be, be this is 8200 eighty two zero zero eighty two three two one two four here's two yeah. three so it'll show you eighty two or three and the surrounding ones that were subdivided at the same time from the same mother parcel oh, yes from the same right yeah the same in original it, block of uh, land yes so it wouldn't tell you what's on the side on top and at the bottom it yes. wouldn't show you what's 
uh, around it. Mm -mm. Now that information is contained in the registry index maps, which is what this big thing is, right? That's why we have the potted plant here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Right, so uh -huh. the registry index map will contain all the neighboring context. Now, the reason that's important is because the new uh, title regime mm -hmm. is doing away with mutation forms or deed plans. So for agricultural I heard land, people gasp because remember that's all we ask for. Mutation economy. Yeah, mutation. I often tell people mm -hmm. if someone's selling you land and they have a title deed and they show you a mutation form but mm -hmm. no RIM, mm -hmm. either investigate further or run away. Because you could be paying for thin air, literally. Because this map right here uh -huh. is what um, You're demarcates actually the buying. actual, yes. All the land within the sovereign territory of Kenya is uh, mapped. Yes, it is. And this is a piece of that territory. And this is what sits at the, at the uh, survey headquarters office, yes. and, and offices. So if your property is not referenced here, uh -huh. it may very well not exist at all. I, 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 take a break and come back. Call all your friends, tell them, yeah. get in here. Solomon Wangwe has just burst this thing wide open. <laughs> And apparently it was always information we should have known. But do you see what happened? I realized uh, there's a conversation going on, but we need to understand why. And the why makes perfect sense. Absolutely. I need, yeah. I need a minute. Thank you. Well, Bye, Mbuko. At least you know he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yes.